Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125 is the phone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com, and also brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs. Whether you want to do this as, your, as part of your own business or you just want to get your home decorated for the holidays, give them a call. They're at 631-957-5106 and they're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. And like Omni, just on Long Island, the website is liholidaylighting.com. Got a beautiful day underway, lots of sunshine all over the place. Uh, you can still see some of that milky white that's on the satellite. That is actually still some of the wildfire smoke. It's uh, uh, not quite as pronounced as we've seen it on some days lately, but it's still there. But that weather front that's pushing down to the southeast will suppress some of that, but there's more uh, as you look across the Great Lakes and back up. Uh, into the northern plain. So we're going to be watching this front as it moves on through uh, during the overnight hours. I think that's when we're going to see the threat for some thunderstorms. And those thunderstorms, by the way, will be more to the north, northern Pennsylvania to New York State, the Hudson Valley, maybe reaching into northernmost New Jersey and on up into New England because that's where the risk area is today. The Storm Prediction Center has an east-west band of slight risk, but that's up the Hudson Valley almost but not quite to I-90. So all of Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, southern Vermont, and back across southern New York, all in the and central New York, also all in the slight risk. The marginal risk comes down into northern Pennsylvania to about Scranton, to just north of New York City, and it covers Connecticut, Rhode Island, and out over the Cape. And of course, you see the other risk area extends back west across the Great Lakes with another area of slight risk back in uh, southern Minnesota and over into Wisconsin. No tornado risk is being indicated, all less than 2%. So it's really about wind, where there's a 15% chance of wind gusts in excess of 50, uh, 50 uh, knots. And there's uh, hail being indicated in the western part of that risk zone uh, back through Wisconsin and into Iowa and Minnesota with a 15% risk of uh, the potential for some hail. So no hail risks that we're, that we're seeing here uh, for the Northeast. And in terms of rainfall over the next seven days, now a lot of places are approaching all-time records for the month of May in terms of rainfall. So for the next several days, the chances are whatever you get from today, then we'll have another chance come late Thursday, later Thursday into Thursday night as the next front moves on by. And then after that, I think we're going to be done. The month comes to an end on Saturday. So uh, we're just going to have these two shots uh, to put down additional rainfalls, take out the uh, record. It's going to be a bit of a tough sell in some places. I think they're going to, a lot of places may wind up falling short. And uh, with respect to uh, what our surface map looks like uh, today, uh, we'll, uh, bring, we'll update this from yesterday when we had this weak frontal system that was right on top of us, uh, really didn't do all that much. We have a stationary frontal boundary sitting overhead, and it's kind of separating us from the really tropical dew points that are down in Virginia, Maryland, and southern New Jersey, where dew points are up into the 70s, dew points are a little bit lower as you head up uh, further to the north. And this front is, is going to really generate most of its uh, activity today across uh, upstate New York. And you see already on the radar at midday, we've got showers and storms coming out of Canada, crossing Lake Ontario, and a few special marine warnings have already gone up. This is as of 1130 a.m., uh, Eastern time. So of course you want to make sure you have the, your latest weather information later today. Make sure you go to uh, weather.gov and go to your local National Weather Service office to get the radar or you can go to my website meteorologist Joe Chaffee and check on, click on the latest posts and the radars are right there for you. Just a couple of notes as far as the long range is concerned. Uh, going into the month of August we have a really unusual pattern setting up with a big upper high that's a big ridge is going to build up the west uh, all the way up into western Canada and the corresponding deep trough is going to be setting up in the eastern part of the United States. Look how far south that trough bases out 
down in northern Florida. That's pretty far south for this time of year. Uh, you don't often see troughs like this, but we've seen this happen a number of times uh, since uh, June when we had several instances of this. And of course, when we got those deep troughs, uh, they were able to bring down uh, cool, uh, drier and cooler air from northern Canada. And that's where we're going to be, I think, pretty much in the weather pattern over the next 10 days with this strengthening trough in the eastern part of the United States. So it doesn't look like we'll have any heat wave issues. The only thing I'm probably a little bit concerned about is whether uh, the bottom part of this trough starts to hang back and gets hung up along the east coast so that we wind up seeing maybe some complications later this later next week. Uh, in terms of a, a stalled frontal boundary and maybe some waves uh, moving along it. So uh, overall, uh, I think we're looking pretty good here as we uh, move on uh, into uh, the rest of this week. Let me just take you through quickly what to expect with respect to uh, tonight. Uh, we're going to, I think, most of the thunderstorm activity, for those of you who see thunderstorms, again, it's going to be northern Pennsylvania, the Hudson Valley, northernmost New Jersey, and points northward. Uh, have the greatest chance of storms further south. Doesn't look like much of anything is going to happen outside of an odd pop-up. And then that system goes by. We have that little high to the north for tomorrow. Uh, temperatures are going to be uh, in the 80s. Uh, warm spots will be close to 90. There might be a couple of pop-up thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, particularly southern New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, down into Delaware and Maryland. Then Thursday, here comes the more important cold front. Uh, when uh, we'll probably see a chance for showers and storms. Models are doing different things with this. So some have more thunderstorms than others. You can see that the GFS, for example, doesn't have a whole lot. The NAM has much more. And then Friday and Saturday, especially later Friday afternoon and, into, and Saturday, we're going to have low dew points and low relative humidities and sunshine temperatures into the 80s on Saturday. And then here comes a stronger front for Sunday with a chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. And behind that, this big high comes down early next week uh, to bring us into some cool, dry air. You can see, by the way, how the GFS kind of hangs this front up uh, along the, part, along the, the uh, east coast uh, during the middle part of next week. And that's, again, something we'll have to keep an eye on if the bottom part of that upper trough winds up hanging back. You know, the GFS seems to indicate that that will be the case. The European, on the other hand, keeps things rather dry and also rather cool. Take a look at the um, anomalies here uh, for the northeast and into the mid-Atlantic states, taking us uh, through J August the 6th. Uh, we're seeing temperatures that are going to average below normal most of the time. So uh, you're looking for cooler weather and a stretch of uh, low humidity, uh, you may see it coming uh, starting uh, for Friday night. And then after we get that next front on Sunday, we'll go ahead and bring it in for at least several days for next week. Weather in 5 brought to you by Wholesale Holiday Lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106 is the phone number. The website is liholidaylighting.com. And uh, also brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at, one, at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, 631-756-1125, also on Long Island. And the website here is omnitruevalue.com. One other thing I want to show you with respect to the tropics, uh, it's been quiet uh, for uh, the last couple of weeks or so, ever since Elsa came and went. And as we go into uh, n the weekend and next week, I want you to kind of focus your attention on this swirl moving across the Atlantic from east to west. That is way up in the upper atmosphere. It's a giant upper low. Uh, and because it's there, it's creating strong westerly winds in the upper layers of the atmosphere across much of the tropics. And this is going to uh, act as a deterrent, uh, creating a hostile environment for tropical cyclones to develop as long as we have that upper, upper low out there. It is forecast eventually to move uh, out of the picture, uh, in which case uh, we're going to maybe start to see activity pay, pick up after the first week of June, uh, I'm sorry, the first week of August goes by. And by the way, you'll also notice in that orange, the deep trough here in the eastern part of the United States uh, taking shape uh, for early next week. 
Uh, I'm soloing tonight, so it's only one Joe on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, and that is going to be, I believe, I'm going to try to do it at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, but just look for the schedule post that I'll put up uh, a bit uh, later on today. You just have to work out the time schedule for, uh, for this evening, and once I know, I will put it up there. Went double the normal time, got a lot of weather in there. We'll see you later.